Folks, in this new video in number theory, we're still in the divisibility theory and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, I will present to you the theorem 1. So we will just call this theorem 1, okay, because we will be using this in our future theorems that we're going to talk, and then let's try to prove this, theorem 1. And then to tell you in advance, there are three more theorems after this, okay? So we'll call this theorem 1. So theorem 1 states that let a and b be in the natural numbers, that is, their positive integers, such that a divides b and b divides a. So if this is true, then a is equal to b. Now, in my in my module, we I said that the proof here is trivi trivial because, well, it can be it can be seen upon that if a is a factor of b and b is a factor of a, then they are equal. Okay. But if you want the proof of it, okay, of this theorem, so let's give a proof of this here. Okay. So proof. Okay, so we will recall that if a divides b, okay, for any number, um, say we have n divides m, so this is saying that m is equal to n times, say, a j factor, because we're saying that n is a factor of m. So therefore, there is a certain j multiplied to n, it will give us m. Okay, so let's use that concept, or let's just, no, let's use that concept. So since we say since a divides b and b divides a okay since a divides b and b divides a then there exists some let's call the variables say m m n in the integers okay such that if we're going to multiply a to this certain m, it will give us b, in such a way that um, a is a factor of b. And a is equal to b times n for a certain n. If we're going to multiply that by b, it will give us a. Okay? Then we will try to substitute, okay, since this is established, we will substitute um, a to this a value here. Okay, again, we will substitute this a to this a value here. So we have so we have, um, you can use the opposite b to this b value here. It will give you the same same step. So we have, um, let's put it down below. b is equal to, since a is equal to b times n, so we have b times n times m. So what we did is this a is substituted to the a value here, which is bn. So this follows that by associativity, or specifically associative property of multiplication, by, but let's make it general by associativity associativity we can say that b is equal to b times nm okay then we can say then since b is equal to b so we can you know divide the whole equation by b so this will give us 1 on the right on the left hand side equals nm Okay, so 1 is equal to an m. So since 1 is equal, an m is equal to 1, therefore there are only two factors that, or two batch of factors that will give us 1. It's either both of them are positive ones, 1 times 1 is 1, or both of them are negative ones. Let's move some part here. Okay, so there are only two cases. But now, remember in our proof, okay, let's go back. Remember in our theorem that a and b are positive integers so they are parts of the natural numbers so since um both of them a and b are natural numbers they are both positive so we cannot get or go to the negative parts of n and m okay so we can say since a and b are positive integers or let's say they are technically they are um positive integers then we can only get the positive values of n and m. So then, then we say that n is equal to m is equal to 1. Okay, since 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so, or hence, oops, hence, since, um, 
n is equal to 1, m is equal to 1, we can either get one of these equations here. So if m is equal to 1, so we can say b equals a, or in this equation, a is equal to b times 1. So therefore, a is equal to b, or b is equal to a consequently. So this is the end of proof. Okay, so that's our proof for theorem 1. Just a ha just a recap of what happened. So we are, we are trying to prove that theorem 1. Let's show that. Okay, theorem 1, let a and b to be positive integers or natural numbers such that a divides b and b divides a. Then a is equal to b. We say that we contend that a is equal to b. So to give you a proof of that, so since a divides b and b divides a, then there exists some m some multiple or some va number and n some number which is an integer such that if we're going to multiply this m this certain m to a it will give us b and this certain n to b it will give us a so we have by substitution a substitute it here so b is equal to bn times m by associativity we can transfer the grouping b is equal to b times n m okay and then since there are b's on both sides divide both sides by b so what we have is one is equal to n m or you can say cancel out the b's so one is equal to nm since a and b are strictly natural numbers in our proof or positive integers then we can only use n and m to be equal to one hence since n is equal to one and m is equal to one we can use either of them since m is one so b is equal to a or since n is also one a is equal to b and then that's the end of proof okay so that's the end of this video there will be certainly more videos after this. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, see you soon. Bye.